our doggy coat, aren't we? Don't we look just precious in our dumb widow doggy coat? When we go on our walk, all the other dogs are gonna call you a nerd. But don't feel bad. You'll be the best dressed nerd ever. Come on, guys. Let's get ready for our walk. Maybe lightning will strike me and end this humiliation. Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to When you feel like you're ready to flip When you've got the world on your shoulders Friends are there to give you a tip Friends are there when you need them They're even there when you go For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark Friends are there I don't care But friends will care You folks have this confused. I'm real and you're animated. Underwater for a sec. Or wool slacks and undergarments. For those people who oh, keep their no. in I left the order, TV on all night. Suit suits. Then there are the lightweight models. And that concludes our 14 hour documentary, Your Friend, the Coat Hanger. I feel like such an unworthy parent. Tune in next week for our 16-hour investigative report, Cotton Swabs, A Blessing or a Curse. Hey, kids! Binky's the name and clowning's my game! How'd you like me to come to your house on your birthday? Have your parents call this number! Not now, Binky. I have to put Garfield to bed. Oh, shh, 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 Odie. Garfield needs to sleep. I have some shopping to do. Let's go out so Garfield can have some peace and quiet. Does Edna won't make 98? Happy birthday, happy birthday, whoop de doo, whoop de doo. May your day be pleasant. Open up your present just for you, just for you. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, whoop de doo, whoop de doo. People who sing like that should be drug out into the street and shot. Neither rain, nor snow, nor gloom of night, nor cat with bad disposition will stay this clown from his appointed rounds! <laughs> hey, cat! Smell my flower! 
I have to finish my birthday special. I have another house to do after this. Ho, ho, ho! Merry birthday! Ho, ho, yes! It's Santa Clown! Ho, ho, ho! Santa Clown, give me a break. Have you been a good little cat this year? Here's a gift for you, cat! Ho, ho, ho! And so forth! Warning, splut enclosed. What's a splut? <laughs> All right, I keep forgetting. I'm sorry, Pussycat. Here, have a piece of candy. That's chocolate-covered Tabasco hot peppers. Water. Water. Come on, I need water. I have to wish Edna a happy birthday! He won't go away. He'll never leave me alone. He doesn't realize he has the wrong house. I have to do something. All right, I'm through being Mr. Nice Clown. Open up! I'm gonna wish Mrs. Edna Fogarty a happy birthday, or else... Mrs. Fogarty, at last! Happy birthday, happy birthday, whoop de doo whoop de doo well, The way I figure it, I'm also doing Mrs. Fogarty a favor. She doesn't have to listen to this. May your daddy pleasant, open up your present just for you, just for you. At last, peace and quiet. I think I'll sleep until Halloween. No, Thanksgiving, it's longer. Garfield, we're home. Well, you look like you got a nice nap while we were gone. We got you some birthday gifts, Garfield. Right! <laughs> That's right. I was so tired, I forgot today was my birthday. And while we were out, I arranged for a special birthday surprise. Happy birthday, happy birthday, whoop de doo whoop de doo oh. May it be pleasant, oh, happy present, just for you. Afraid of a bug? sleep later now that they've brought out a whole compact disc of rooster crows. <laughs> another day, another 600 things to dread. Uh, 
Up early, Orson? I got hooked on this book. It's about a wanted criminal, a fugitive from justice. The police hunted him for... Everyone's up. Roy can knock off that crowing. Yeah, I'm gonna go tell him to stop. Hey, Orson! Is this your paper here under the sofa? It's stuck! <laughs> what is this thing? Warning. Do not remove this tag under penalty of law. Penal code 7756 so-and-so. <laughs> Gee, it's against the law to remove... <laughs> Well, uh, I have leaves to rake, so I tore a tag off. What harm can it do? They can't arrest me for that, <laughs> can they? Maybe I could sew it back on. What harm can it do? What harm can it do? What harm can it do? It starts with just a little thing no one would miss at all. What possible perceivable harm can it do to break just a little law? What harm can it do? What harm can it do? What harm can it do? <laughs> Bedtime's every night at nine, but out of bed you creep. You play real quiet until you hear you're supposed to go to sleep. What harm can it do? What harm can it do? What harm can it do? Rules are made for a reason, always some we hate. But they help us all get along together. Laws are made to keep us straight. You borrow something from a friend, a doll or maybe a truck. They saw you take it, they want it back. Oh boy, no toy, oh yuck. What harm can it do? What harm can it do? Wait, you're a wanted duck. What harm can it do? What harm can it do? What harm? Wait, duck! You are charged with tearing the tag off a pillow. How do you plead? I did it! I did it! I'm glad I did it! <laughs> and I do it again! I sentence you to 9,999 years in prison! <sighs> At least I didn't get life. I robbed 50 banks and 60 gas stations. Yeah, well, I robbed 70 banks, see, and 90 gas stations, and I stole the Klopman diamond. What are you in for? Uh, I tore the tag off a pillow. <laughs> no! No! I don't want to go to prison! I gotta sew that tag back on! <laughs> Wake up! Roy! Oh, Roy! You have your earmuffs on! And here you! I have earmuffs on! The folks next door called the police! See? They called the police to complain! Turn the noise off! I can't hear you! Wait till I turn the noise off! Uh, this is ridiculous! They wouldn't put me in jail for tearing a tag! I'm too nervous! It's not like the police are looking for... stereo from a horse. You've got to turn it off. Find me. I'm too young to go to prison. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's one way to stop it. Please, you got to save me. Hide me. Get me an attorney. Get me an attorney named Murray. I don't want to go to jail. I didn't mean it. Please, Orson. Wade, calm down. What did you do? I tore the tag off of a pillow, and now the police have come for me. <laughs> you, you, you thought that that was <laughs> you. You were you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Wade, you're not going to jail. I guarantee it. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up. Come out with your hands up! We have you surrounded! <laughs> Didn't that sound neat? I don't know.
all, Booker. Do you think that was very nice? Oh, come on. What harm can it do? <laughs> Ugh, a spider. Hold still, little spider, while I squash you with the window. Yeah, I know it's kind of cruel, but it's part of my job. Well, at least I got rid of the spider. <gasps> oh, no. Really, Liz? A new cat disease? What's it called? Well, I just got the report here at the clinic. It's called the Hawaiian cat flu. Hawaiian cat flu? <laughs> well, I'm not worried. Garfield never gets sick. Hawaii. Yalai. John, did you hear me? John! I'm not sure, but I think Garfield just might have the Hawaiian cat flu. 101 degrees. 101? That's a fever. No, nah, that's normal for Garfield. That's the temperature of microwave lasagna. Just give him the medicine I'll prescribe, and whatever you do, don't mention anything I'm having anything to do Don't mention Hawaii? Every time you mention anything Hawaiian, he'll react like that. Really? You mean he's going to start dancing every time I mention Hawaii? Take him home and give him this. Either that or plan a luau. You have to take it, Garfield. You start dancing every time I mention who, uh, uh, that place or, or anything from that place. You're being more ridiculous than usual, which is pretty ridiculous. Macadamia nuts. <laughs> now will you take your medicine? He refuses to take it, Liz. I... I'll call you back, Liz. <laughs> you've done. You've ruined my best Hawaiian shirt. Let's see. One cup of flour, two eggs, one can of pineapple. <sighs> Poor Garfield. Dancing like that every time someone says Honolulu. If Garfield doesn't take his medicine... On tomorrow night's show, we'll be featuring silly animal stunts. So if your pet does something silly, you could win $1,000. A cat that does the hula. That's pretty silly, isn't it, Odie? I'll get Garfield on that show, and then I can just kiss all my financial worries. Aloha! Could we have the next applicant for silly animal stunts? He tap dances to old Wayne Newton records while knitting a sweater. Oh, not another tap dancing knitting octopus act. All right, next. What does he do? Impressions. Probably does impressions. <laughs> hey man, this is really cool. Give me a cracker, man. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> Let me have a cracker, pal, or I won't be responsible. Hey, how about these feathers, huh? Aren't they some? Hey, I want to tell you. Go ahead, make my cage. I'll put it a fool. I'll put it a pool. Don't give me a cracker, because I need a cracker. <laughs> well, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs>
Needs work. And what does your cat do? Oh, he has a very silly talent. He dances whenever he hears... Uh... Oh, that's silly? Yeah. Oh, that's the silliest one I've heard all day. He's on the show. Be back here tonight. Me? On TV? Well, it took him long enough to discover my natural talents. <laughs> I'm gonna be rich. Yes, sir, I'm gonna be rich. <laughs> John thinks he's gonna make a fortune. Well, if I'm gonna be on TV, I'd better be in my best health, which means taking this medicine. Come on, Garfield. They're waiting for us at the studio. My public awaits. I hope I don't have to sign autographs. Mainly because cats can't write. Maybe I should have brought a film clip. I wonder what they expect me to do. I wonder what they expect me to do. Well, thank you. Uh, wasn't that just silly? Well, our last contestant, I'm told, is one of the silliest acts we've ever had. Come on, Garfield. We're on. Would you please welcome Mr. John Arbuckle and his cat, Garfield? Next time I get first billing. Well, Mr. Arbuckle, uh, what exactly is it that Garfield does? He dances the hula every time someone mentions Hawaii. I do not. Did you hear me, Garfield? I said, Hawaii. <laughs> no, honest. He dances the hula. He must be nervous. <laughs> Hawaii, Garfield. Honolulu. Surfboards. Ukuleles. Don Ho. Me? Dance the hula on TV? I have my dignity. Garfield, please. Hawaii. Maui. Cane sugar. Book him, Dano. Pineapples. Volcanoes. He really does. He dances the hula. Like this. Hawaii. Can I come over? He did! He danced the hula! <laughs> Congratulations! This is the silliest act we've ever had on the show! You win the thousand dollars! I do? How do you like that? I get him on the show and he gets the money. I guess he's all cured, Liz. Garfield's all over the Hawaiian cat flu. Great, but you better keep him inside. There's another one going around. The Alaskan cat flu. Alaskan cat flu? How will I know if Garfield comes down with that? <laughs> mush, Odie. Mush, you husky. Mush. John, are you there? I'll explain about the Alaskan cat flu. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs>